Hey guys, in this video, I'll cover the no calculator section of the College Board Practices 4. So in the question one, they say, which of the following expression is equal to zero for some value of x? As you know, the absolute value of something is always greater than or equal to zero. So there's no chance to get the negative answer. Uh, you see three cases is plus one. Positive number plus one is also positive. So in the case A, only we can get a zero answer x minus 1 is 1, minus 1 would be 0. Second question, f6 is equal to 7. Let's check f6. 3 over 2 times 6 plus b is equal to 7. 9 plus b is equal to 7. b is minus 2. So fx is equal to 3 over 2x minus 2. They ask for f minus 2. f minus 2 is equal to 3 over 2 times minus 2, minus 2, is equal to minus 5. Third one, here you see x is equal to 6, so I cross multiply. And here, 4 times y plus 4 is equal to, instead of x, I'll write 6y. Take it to the right side, it will be 2y is equal to 4, y is equal to 2. In the question 4, you see, this is a constant. It means it never changes. Whatever you substitute, in the end, we will have plus 5. So we have only one answer key. In the question 5, you see there is no negative. Even you multiply them all, you will have x squared there. You will have some x's there. And you will have constant. We have only one answer key. Each. We have x squared, x, and constant. If you have cross multiply here, 7a minus 7b is equal to 3b. 7a is equal to 10b. a over b is equal to 10 over 7. In the question 7, they say for the weak and mice, 4 weeks, it is 8, and 16, it is 26. Let's find slope. 26 minus 8 divided by 16 minus 4. It is 18 divided by 12. That's 1.5. The question eight, if the lines are parallel, their slopes are same and y-intercepts are different. If the slope is minus three and the y-intercept is four, let's find slope here. Two y is equal to minus six x plus 15. Y is equal to minus three x plus 7.5. Slopes are same, y-intercepts are different. The answer is A. In the question 9, you know square root of something is always greater than or equal to 0. So x minus 4 is always greater than or equal to 0. x is greater than or equal to 4. These are not greater than or equal to 4. We have only one answer key left. It is D. Question 10, we have cross multiply. 10 t minus 50 is equal to t plus 5. 10 t minus t is equal to 5 plus 50. 9t is equal to 55. t is 55 over 9. The equation 11, you will just substitute. y is equal to 2. Instead of x, you will write 2y plus 5 minus 3. And here, 2y plus 5 plus 9. y is equal to 4y plus 10 minus 3, it is 7, and 2y plus 14. If you just open the bracket, so y is equal to 8y squared plus 56y plus 14y, it's plus 70y, plus 98. So 8y squared plus 69y plus 98 is equal to zero. If you calculate it, discriminant will be greater than zero. So we have two solutions. In the question 12, they say can pay X dollars and Paul's pays $1 more, X plus one. If they split the cost evenly, like X plus X plus one divided by two, which is 2x plus 1 divided by 2. 
which are the following expression and they say each pay 20 percent tip so 2x plus 1 divided by 2 20 percent tip means you pay 20 percent more so 1.2 if you just calculate this 0 0.6 0 0.6 times 2x plus 1 will be c here we have two functions one of them is this one another one is gx they say if they intersect if they intersect we just equalize them 8x squared minus 2 is equal to minus 8x squared plus 2 so we got 16x squared is equal to 4 x squared is equal to 4 divided by 16 which is 1 over 4 and x is plus minus 1 over 2 they say one of them is k and minus k so it means k is 1 over 2 for the 14 we have to multiply the conjugate of denominator like 3 plus 2i and 3 plus 2i let's simplify it 3 square 9 minus 4i square and here in numerator it's like 24 plus 16i minus 3i it is plus 13i minus 2i square so that will be 9 plus 4 because i square is minus 1 if i square is minus 1 this will be plus 2 24 plus 2 is 26 plus 13i and we write them separately 26 divided by 13 plus 13i divided by 13 so the result will be 2 plus i if is equal to a plus bi a plus bi we can get a and b here they are called a a is 2 The question 15 x squared minus k over 2x minus 2p is equal to 0. We can write it like ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we can find discriminant here. Discriminant is b squared, which is k squared over 4, minus 4ac, which will be plus 8p. Okay. You can write them same as 4 k squared plus 32p all right x1 and x2 is minus b which is k over 2 plus minus square root of discriminant that's k squared plus 32p divided by 4 and divide by 2a divide by 2 if you write them separately it is k over 2 over 2 which is k over 4 automatically this 2 is gone what will be the right side? Let's just simplify this part. Uh, so here you see square root of 4 is actually 2. It will be k over 2 plus minus. This side will be k square plus 32p. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 divided by 2 will be 4. It is b. The question 16, actually, this is not equal to 18, but this is similarity. We will get the same proportion. So we can write like 2x plus 3x plus x is 18. Like 6x is equal to 18. x is 3. So if x is 3, 2x is 6, this is 9, this is 3. The question is what? what's the maximum height in the shampoo? So maximum height of it is 9. For the 17, we have the rule, if alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degree, then sine alpha is equal to cosine beta, and also cosine alpha is equal to sine beta. You see, this is 90 degree, so it means x plus y is equal to 90 degree. It means sine x is equal to cosine y. If sine x is 0 0.6, cosine y is also 0 0.6 here in the question 18 we will just use a factor out x square x minus 5 plus 2 x minus 5 is equal to 0 we take factor out x square plus 2 is equal to 0 look something square if we just equalize them to the zero separately x minus 5 is equal to 0 
and x squared plus 2 is equal to 0. This is impossible. Here we have no solution. Cos something squared is positive plus 2 cannot be 0. Here we have only one root, which is 5. In the question 9, to multiply the first equation by 2. It's minus 6x plus 8y is equal to 40. And this is 6x plus 3y is equal to 15. Just sum them up. X is gone. 11y is equal to 55. Y is equal to 5. If y is equal to 5, we can just substitute it and get the value of x. Let's substitute it in the second equation. 6x plus 3 times 5 is equal to 15. It means x is 0. So for the questions in 20, let's say this is Earth for 50 kilometers. The temperature is minus negative 5 degrees Celsius and for 80, sorry, 80 kilometers from the Earth, it is negative 80 degrees Celsius. Look at this one. For 30 kilometers, increase by 75 degrees Celsius. Okay, they ask for, for every additional 10 kilometers. It is x. x will be what? Then multiply by 75, divide by 30, that's 25. So, hope it was helpful. If you have any question, you might comment below. Take care of yourself. Have a good day.